Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to create a vocabulary list for your class in Doodly. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. Looking for a way to increase student engagement in the classroom? One way you could do it is by using an animated whiteboard video to post your weekly vocabulary list. With its visual format, you can use graphics to help students grasp each word's meaning, and you can even use those same graphics at the end and make a quiz or a game show out of identifying the right word. So let's go ahead and get started. Here is my list of five vocabulary words. I'm just using five for now, maybe you have ten, it doesn't really matter, whatever you usually do in your classroom. And we're going to create this. So what we want to do is start with a title that's going to tell the students what they're looking at. So obviously it's a vocabulary list, right? So we need to add a title that says just that. So it's very simple. Just grab your font and we're going to give it a title. Now this is just an image, a screenshot of my list. I'm just going to use it for now as a placeholder so I know what I'm doing. So what we want to do is go ahead and write the list of words. So we want to give them an overview first before we go in and show all the different images, right? So let's go ahead and type them in. So my first word is calm. I'm going to do another one. The second word is huge. At this point, I'm not worried about the layout. I just want to get the words in, okay? Now that I have my words, I'm just going to go ahead and list them. Now we have the words listed. In the next scene, we'll go one by one through the words and add their definitions. But for now, if we want, we can add a character. Let's just add the kids. Just to make it a little bit more interesting. I can delete my list for now. And I think let's have them at the beginning. Let's go ahead and preview it. Actually, I'm going to have them at the end. Now, because you're going to be using this in the classroom, you're going to want to leave this screen on for enough time for the kids to write down each word on their note papers, right? So we're going to have this come in last. It's going to take three seconds to draw and let's give some time at the very end of the scene for the kids to write down the words. So let's just say 15 seconds. You may need to adjust it depending on how long you think it'll take. So after they've written down their vocabulary words, we want to define them. So let's add a new scene. And we're going to start with our first word, which was calm. So if you want, go back here. You can copy this list and then define each word all on one screen. Or you can do one word per scene. Today I'm going to do one word per scene. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste this first word. It's an easy enough word I could just type it in as well but for today. So let's go ahead and put this here. Calm. Maybe we want it larger. And we need its definition. Borrow my little cheat sheet once again. It's got the definition. State of peace or being free from stress or worry. You can decide how you want it to, to be. Do you want it centered or not? And then, because we have space and because this is a highly visual format, we can add something that illustrates what this is. So calm. What illustrates calm? You could have a character doing yoga. Okay, so now we just need our next word. So add a new scene. 
go back and our next word is huge huge and our cheat sheet extremely large okay so we just go ahead and get another piece of text here and we type in adjective I won't need word wrap on that one so again what we want to do is make our word large and then our definition here we do need that what can we use to illustrate huge well we can pick an object we could pick you know, an object here and have one large and one small yeah let's do an elephant it would be kind of fun to have him like cover up the graphics a little bit because he's so big but i'm not sure about that because the students they need to be able to copy and paste or write down the definition so let's do something like that and then we could have a mouse just to show the size difference if we want to get fun we could add a little thought a speech bubble okay so we have two of our words done now again they're gonna need time to write this down okay so let's make sure we give them that time Again, let's just say 15 seconds. You'll need to fiddle with this and get the timing according to your students' abilities and what you know about them. I'm gonna do the same on this one, scene settings, 15 seconds. And we just need something to illustrate a note. So let's type in note. So there we go. That's pretty basic. Again, we want our 15 seconds at the end. Our next word is decide. And our definition is a verb to make a choice. So now we need someone making a choice. So we could have someone looking maybe confused let's have a kid this time this I just copied and pasted it so it'd be the same size this or that so she has to make a choice between something and I think that's fine and our last word is invite To ask someone to do something or come somewhere. This is a longer definition, so I'm going to turn on word wrap. Verb. And that looks pretty good. And now we just need something to illustrate invite. So maybe we have somebody with an invitation in their hand. So let's say paper. I love a kid. Here we go. We have a kid. And let's find another kid. Again, we can use text to help illustrate this. So again, I'm going to use a speech bubble. And once again, we need our 15 seconds. Now, if you'd like, you can add some background music. Let's go ahead and let this last word be a little longer. Just make it fit our music, okay? And I am going to turn the music down a little bit. And there you have it, a short little video lesson on your weekly vocabulary words. Now, of course, you can show this to the students in the classroom. If you're teaching remotely, it's great for that. And you could also send a link to parents and let them use it during homework time to help the students memorize their vocabulary words. Thanks for watching.